okay guys this is my how to carry in gold video okay so i i mean i made a video explaining how to get 10 cs a minute and like good kda and like you know how to carry it. and it was in masters and so some of the comments are like bro i can't do this in gold it's a different game please it's not possible my jungle mid and support are taking my CSN lane yada 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 so i decided okay let me show you how to carry in gold okay so i have an example for you guys here today it's 22 minutes long um crushing game and uh it's not a game where i go around and get like 30 kills and just like headshot everyone in the face right like, it's a very controlled game like if you if you watch this and you um copy this strategy you will consistently get strong every game and will be able to carry okay so this video be warned will at least be 20 minutes long we're gonna watch this without skipping anything <clears throat> that way you guys can't be like oh you're like skipping like i can't i can't tell what's going on like you guys would know exactly how i do this okay because i'm going to explain literally everything that you see on the screen no matter how small or how big okay um and if you have if i you know if i miss something or um if you guys have questions you guys don't understand uh say something in the comments because i will uh i will respond okay um I will respond okay so um let's fast forward a bit let's get to the start of laning phase um i haven't really watched back on this since i played it but um it should be pretty easy if, if i remember correctly it should be pretty simple um okay so the first thing you notice is that they're both top laners started in lane so bot lanes both bot lanes got a leash or um sorry both junglers got a leash from bot <clears throat> And then uh, here we're fishing. Okay, so if you want, if you if you want to talk about this, you know, in gold, um, remember one of the main, um, one of the basic things you want to do is try and pressure them when they want minions, right? Sorry if I pause here and there, but see, you see how he goes. He wants this ranged creep. Okay, how can we pressure this guy? We're gonna throw a skill check. I'm gonna try and hit him with Q. Don't know if it's gonna hit, but I'm gonna try and do something to his face, right? So he goes for this. He goes for it and he gets hit. It's lit. That's how we know. Oh, we skill check them. We know he can't dodge abilities, right? So every time he goes for a minion, we're going to try and mess with him, right? So um, you guys might be thinking, oh, in this matchup, doesn't Soraka just like spam QU? Do you get spam silence? They they trade with you and like they want to trade with you. Why would you walk up and try and hit him? It's because we're trying to um, make him lose his mind, okay? You're not actually, like if, you, if they want to trade or Soraka is going to hit you with Q, you don't actually commit the auto attack. You just pretend to it's like how you create pressure from nothing okay how do you i guess how to create squeeze water from stone okay is you pretend to pressure them and you see like when you want a minion make sure um soraka doesn't um hit you okay well i got i got hit by this i went for another skill check that was really bad because he didn't want a minion right so it's highly unlikely we're gonna hit him i was just i was just be honestly disrespectful um don't throw out those you can you can you can throw out a few of those if you want but um yeah, and then here, I kind of screwed up the wave here. We needed to crash here, but it's fine. I don't think they can really do anything about this. We're just going to we're just gonna push, crash this wave, hit level 3, and uh, make sure we don't die to gank, right? It's Diana, so it's unlikely. So far, you guys are always like, oh, my, my, my support doesn't do anything um, in this rank, right? I can't do anything because my support does anything. Well, Maokai, spoilers, is not going to do anything the entire laning phase, okay? It's just going to be us, okay? And one thing to know about this kind of matchup is that, um, of course, we want to all in with Maokai and they want to trade with um, Aphelios and Soraka, right? So Soraka can heal them up. So how do we deny them um, the trade? We just shove, okay? Um, if you guys are thinking, oh, why don't we like pull the wave and like Maokai all in? Because we cannot kill on all in, plus their jungle can... Um, we cannot all in and then fight the jungle as well, right? When you all in, you need to make sure you have info on the jungle. And you have to you have to make sure you win the 2v2, right? So I don't think we satisfy either of those conditions. We see Diana here, so we're trying to mess with him, right? Um, you see, every time it goes, you see, every time there's like a... Every time my minion's dying, I'm just going to like dance in front of it, okay? I'm just going to like dance in front of it, see what he does. And then he's just afraid. Like, he doesn't know what to do. So he's just the, Like, he's supposed to walk up and trade with me, right? But he just doesn't know that. Right, so I'm just gonna pretend to hit him every time. Sometimes I do hit him. Look at that. I'm just getting a little cheeky auto attack in. Look, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it again. He's missed two CS for no reason. Right. So if you guys want to like learn how to one v two the lane, this is kind of how you do it. Look, you see, like I even baited Sraka to stealing a CS. It's crazy, no? Um, like this is a matchup where we have like melee all in support and they have a trading support and they're losing in CS. Like actually, 
like uh, I pressed, I'm sure I pressed tab here um, somewhere, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure I go up, up like 30, 40 CS in this lane just by like playing like this, right? Every time I want something, look, you don't actually have to commit. See, I committed trap there is really bad because there's no way I could actually do anything there, right? Don't actually um, come in and get hit by the Soraka Q. That was, uh, that was really poor by me. But you do want to pretend on every minion. Like, even if you're not actually going to. Yeah, I kind of ran forward there to dodge the Soraka Q. I was kind of kind of um disrespectful on my part but whatever okay every time he wants a minion you're gonna pretend to you see make him like make him think about you okay and then you do this enough times the jungle is gonna show up right but he's like warded and he can't gank so then therefore you've created jungle gap because now jungle your jungle knows exactly where the diana is right so just by playing like this you can create a land advantage and with this lane advantage you can bait the jungle into coming to your lane and if you don't give anything to the jungle, then you've created jungle gap, okay? So this is how you create AD gap into sub gap into jungle gap. Um, and then here, I'm channeling base here. I'm not actually going to base here, I'm pretty sure. I'm just seeing, uh, just doing a little uh, peekaboo here, you know. <clears throat> um, seeing how they will respond. Um, of course, you should make sure you get your CS as well. Um, hopefully, that's very self-explanatory. I mean, I don't have to tell you guys to do that. Um, yeah, I missed one CS there. It feels bad, man. But here, we're going to crash the next wave, and then uh, probably going to consider base. Um, we have a lot of money, but Aphelios is no mana, so we'll see what's going on here. And of course, you're always just trying to dodge. You're trying to bait their support to throw abilities at you. Because every time they miss, they're useless, right? Imagine if you bait, like, Blitz Hook with Sivir E. Then they can't do anything for 18 seconds. It's amazing, right? So the equivalent of this is baiting the Soraka Q, right? Um, and then they can't do anything for what, like six seconds, however long the cooldown is. And you see, like, Aphelios is like throwing turds down and stuff, trying to like stop us from doing what we're doing, you know? Here, we'll probably consider base, although it's not a cannon, right? So, probably don't want to base. Uh, make sure you don't just like randomly base and lose CS. You have to check to see if you're in a position like this, we have full control of the wave. You want to make sure you're going to base on a cannon wave so you don't miss anything, right? You base as the cannon is coming in. So, I'm going to base after this, right? Because the next wave should be cannon. Um, kind of missing some CS here, right? <clears throat> so we base here. Um, and then you're like, oh, what if they freeze here? You know, can't break the freeze. You can stay and attempt to break the freeze after warding to make sure you don't get um, tank ganked by Diana. But in gold, as you can see, they, they, they don't know how to freeze, okay? So, you know, um, you don't even have to play around that. But yeah, if, if we, they were freezing, we would assume the jungle's here. We'd go ward first, then try and break the freeze and we don't go home. Okay, that's fine. Totally fine, okay? But there I saw him just full on hitting the wave i'm like yeah he's, he's not gonna freeze so i just based on the cannon and just like this we have 15 cs he's lost two waves guys he's lost two waves in a in a matchup where he needs to trade to win and i'm giving him the trade kind of but i'm just like pretending to harass him and sometimes i actually harass him and they're losing like straight up <clears throat> oh wow okay you see this this is actually really interesting to talk about in gold um there's something very important you guys need to understand in this tempo, okay? And tempo is time. What do you do with your time? So what did I how did I find a base timer to not lose any CS? I lost the cannon there, it was RNG. Um the way I found it was I waited for the cannon wave to come in, shove the wave in, base on cannon, lose no CS. Okay. Now what happens if you don't find a timer to base? So um if they see me do this, they have to base too. Because what happens if they don't base? That means they're stuck in lane. Or they lose a wave. So here we see them do the dragon. And we saw that they helped with the dragon. They lost lane from here. It's already lost. Because all I have to do is just shove. And they can't do Like they have to go home. Right? And if they go home, they lose like 10 CS. Right? If they lose 10 CS, okay, now he's 30 CS behind. Right? Now you see, you, you're going to starting to get the picture. Right? Is um, a, a lot of it is like creating, like creating small advantages turning that into CS advantages or uh, jungle pressure, and then uh, using that to, you know, uh, create the more decisive advantages like an income or uh, in the form of like counter gank or, you you know, jungle pressure in the sense that you're wasting your jungle's time and your jungle goes to win mid lane, for example, right? And any combination of this equals GG, right? And as you see here, because they didn't, they refused to take their base. They want to help the dragon. Guys, you have to understand, you don't just do the dragon because your team pings you to do the dragon. They, he is down, what is this, like 25 CS? Bro, he's down four waves. Isn't this crazy? Right? Soraka didn't base? Bro, it's nuts, man. Like, they can't play the game, okay? So, you have to know what you want to do with your, um, with your tempo, with your time. And um, when in doubt, you need to match base, or if you have control, Make sure that you um, are basing on cannon, <clears throat> okay? To make sure you lose as few CS as possible. So here, 
um, it's really funny. Um, one of them based Aphelios, so he lost 10, 15 CS. The other one didn't base Soraka. So they still haven't based together, which means they still can't do anything, which means he's going to be down another 30 CS unless their jungle comes to help them. And we are, uh, we are virtually ungankable, right? <clears throat> We're actually ungankable, like straight up. Like I'm actually like, this guy hasn't based. I'm literally like doing illegal stuff in their face, like trading and stuff because <laughs> Soraka hasn't based yet. I'm just gonna keep pushing. Okay, so here, um, you could like freeze this and have Maokai sit here. Um, but I'm down to push and have Maokai move mid here. Okay, so um, you 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 can do really whatever you want here. If you want to slow push this wave, this cannon, by all means, slow push this wave, right? Um, if you want to think, you play for dive, you call your jungle, and then you're like, okay, we can win even if Dana shows up. Go for it. Okay, if you want Maokai to roam, you can do this too. <clears throat> but here, um, I just had to push. I'm just like lazy. I just push. Okay, but you could have frozen that wave if you wanted to. Okay. Um, in fact, it was probably the 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 better option here, seeing as Malkai is AFK. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess there's nothing to go to mid because the fight's already over. But yeah, we probably should have frozen this wave. As you can see, we can get another 10 CS advantage. You know, I did a mistake here. I could have gotten another 10 CS. But um, you 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 notice that like the lane is won within 10 minutes without me killing a single person, right? We honestly like uh, like actually, right? We haven't killed a single person, right? And we're just up infinite gold. Here, uh, this better be a cannon. It's not a cannon. I'm going to cancel base, right? <clears throat> Surely I cancel base. Oh, maybe I think I can get away with this. Okay. Again, we should base on cannon, but I feel like I could get away with this. I'm pretty sure they just insta push you and I lose 60 S, right? Let's fast forward, see what they do. Yeah, I lose. That was bad, okay? So <clears throat> we should base on cannon, okay? Agreed. What I wanted to do here was I was trying to match my tempo with our millionaire, um, but it's already fucked, as you can see. I'm basing while they're coming out of lane. Uh, sorry, I'm yeah, I'm basing when they're coming out of base, so that was bad. Okay, make sure you base on cannon. I did a little mistake there, so we could have um like 97 CS here instead of 93. Okay, wait, hold up. Oh yeah, I saw this. This is really funny. Um, they um attempt to crash this while our millionaire is coming. Again, more macro ideas. They're trying to like they're trying to like instantly push this wave for some reason. I'm not really sure why. And um, one of the things you guys need to understand with wave management is um. If you want to crash, you have to ask yourself, can I crash? Okay. And the reason why they can't crash here is because if you look mid, they have no, um, their mid laner is getting pushed in, which means our mid can move. Okay. They also have no info on our jungle. So our jungle can gank, although he's not here. So let's say best case scenario, they have Diana here. They're going to, they're going to try and 3v3 us as they try and push, push this wave in. I don't think it's going to work. Right. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, you guys need to make sure that if you want to, it's not default push. You have to ask yourself, oh, what do what do I want here? And like, uh, you know, what's jungle mid wave looking like? Okay, always ask yourself if you need to, if you want to crash, what's jungle and mid wave looking like? So here, our uh, Ketern is here where they're trying to do this stuff, and they just like they just like burn flash. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Katarina pings Soraka and a few others flash, and I'm like, what the heck? How they burn flash here? Um, that's a little bit weird. Also, uh, if you see this, you can you can also build a slow push again. It's a cannon wave. When in doubt, just create a slow push. I'm definitely being a bit lazy here. I'm trying to be um, giving them CS in, in 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 order to be a little bit more preactive. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ward or sorry. This 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 doesn't even crash. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, I, I my wave management isn't even good, and I'm 30 CS up. Okay, so you guys can do even better than me. We need to crash this wave, and then we need to go clear the tri ward. Um, because Diana is looking looking like something here. Agreed? Go, go, go. Go get the ward. Oh, yeah. That's default. If you guys have no idea what to do after you push, vision. Okay? First step is vision. And if you have no wards, you're probably dying. Right? So here, we're just going to go clear everything. We see Diana mid. Very nice. <clears throat> you can path mid here. I'm going mid here. I'm like, okay, do we want to do, do this? Malkai is low AFK. Right? There's a ward here. So I'm just clearing this. Trying to help our mid laner. And then, uh, obviously, they see us. So I'm just going to go back bot. Right? <clears throat> just applying some pressure, you know, shifting to see if we can do anything. But uh, obviously, um, we can't. So we go back bot, right? You know, just full commit move for fun, guys. Um, again, baiting our striker abilities. Just you, you just make sure you don't get hit, right? <clears throat> Have it in your head. You see all these random cues I'm throwing out? These are just like RNG skill checks. They're never going to hit because Aphelios is not trying to auto attack anyone or last hit. So um, here we have our Jarvan here. So we're like, oh, let's fight. And we saw that Aphelios has no flash. And Diana's on the way, so we flash her ulti. And by flashing her ulti, it seems kind of weird with full HP, right? But we guaranteed it's one. Like, it's just default, just flash their jungle's abilities, right? Their damage abilities. And GG. But the body is one, okay? So how did this happen? So if we take a look here, what, what happened again here? Um, they are trying to push, right? Let's take a look at this. 
they are um, they are crashing the wave, right? And then we're uh, we're trying we're attempting to hold the wave, right? And then uh, <clears throat> they try to fight us because their jungle's here, but uh, our jungle and our mid are also here, right? And they have no flashes, and the engage works. I've uh, personally I don't have to do anything. They're just dead because um, they have no flashes, so you can heal Maokai, right? You're making sure that the play is we root the we we catch the Sifilios. I missed the um I missed the uh the follow up here, the trap follow up, uh the Maokai cues into the um into the trap here if I put it down fast enough, but uh, I kind of griefed it a bit. Um, but it's fine. I mean, honestly, it, it doesn't even matter, right? It, it ends up not even mattering. <clears throat> so yeah, um, literally from here, the game is over. Right, the game is won. Okay, we take a look at the scoreboard. I have not killed anyone. Okay, we have just used our um, pressure to gain CS lead and wave control. Use that to bait down a combat, and then. With all that, we generated CS lead, had good base timer. Honestly, sometimes I even fucked up the wave and had a poor base timer. And yet I still have 113 CS at 1145. And then Aphilios is down 30 CS. 30. That's like five waves. He's down five waves. In fact, he's going to be down more because we're about to push. Right? And the game's over. And then now, here's the second part. You guys are like, okay, sometimes I'm like really strong in lane. Sometimes I have like five kills and like we still lose the game, okay? So this is the second part. So the first is, this is how you consistently generate a lead without killing anyone, okay? And then the second part is, how do you uh, continue this lead and turn this into an insurmountable advantage, okay? So here we're going to uh, get the plate and then push the wave and go home, all right? You see me, um, after we got the one plate, I just immediately start focusing the minions. I don't care about more hits on the tower, right? <clears throat> and I'm out of here. Making sure your base, the idea behind base timers is um, a combination of you have stuff to buy, you're not losing any minions when you base, like right after you push, and um, you have the same timer as your teammates. So we're all coming out of base at the same time. Okay. But um, the, th if you, the, real, the, the main thing to focus on really is making sure you're not losing any minions. Okay. That's the big one to focus on. And then you will look like 124 at 1233. And I, remember, I missed like a wave because I based on a non cannon. It should be 130 here. Right. I forgot every single minion would have been 130. Another thing we can talk about is um, back during that uh, Diana gank. Um, one thing you can hold in your head is um, when you're 2v2ing, you just imagine, you just think about like who can come bot. So uh, back in that play before, we're just like, oh, thinking, oh, Diana can come bot. What are we flashing, right? What's the game plan here? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're just they're just dead here. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. I don't really know what they're doing here, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this. Okay, again, how did they die here? Um, they did not play like my junk like look what, what is he doing he's like standing up in like he's like standing in my face when he doesn't know where my jungle is and he has no flash so it seems to me in gold in laning phase you guys don't know that the jungle exists or that the mid lane uh prio exists that mid laners exist you need to play like the jungle and mid lane exist at all times okay so uh from his point of view he sees nothing in the river he doesn't know where our jungle is he doesn't even know where our millionaire is, but maybe he assumes that millionaire based and is going mid, and then he has no flash, okay? So if he gets engaged on here, he has no way out, and the only way to win this is if his jungle is right behind him, and even then, they probably don't win because we insta-kill Aphelios, right? So you guys got to, you guys got to have to know when you can push and fight, okay? And the entire idea is, is, is based off the map, is what is going on with junglers and mid lane prowl. And if you can't do this, you instantly lose lane. Okay, they lost lane two x now. Now it's now they can FF. I'm pretty sure this is a 15. If this happens, FF 15. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, we are not even doing anything. They're just killing themselves by running at us um, when our when our team is on the way, right? And then if you do the reverse, if you're if the enemy team is on the way, your job is to not die and or to bait them. But uh, you know, either way, you don't die, right? You can, like we like you saw we we baited Dinah to come bot and waste their time. Right, and so uh, yeah, if you can do this and enemy ADC can't, you're you're creating bot gap, right? I don't know why I'm taking tower here, but um, here I'm gonna let the minions die at the tower, and then I'm gonna last hit it, or you know, it doesn't matter if you last hit it or whatever, but um, just try and uh, have the tower kill as many minions as possible, instantly base, right? You guys ask, oh, where do we go after this? Of course, we always tell you go mid, and um, I may remember my Twitch chat said here, um, they said something like, oh, um, mid never goes side lane. Right? So if he doesn't go side lane, fuck it, I go bot. Just make sure you're getting every CS possible. And then, oh my god, look, look, he goes side lane. You guys are lying. I swear to god, you guys are lying. Look, he's going side lane. He's like... 
Good job. Good job, right? He's going silent. I go mid. Easy, right? But if he hadn't gone silent, I'll just go bot. And push and then go through their jungle. Go mid through their jungle, right? Um, anyways, <clears throat> so here, um, okay, so now we're in the phase two. Let's say you're strong coming out of lane. And this is this is what I want you guys to have every game. Um, 10 CS a minute, and you didn't grief any base timers, and you didn't die to the jungle. That's all I want from you guys. Consistent, 10 CS, this is, this is considered being strong, okay? You want this every single game, okay? This is what I want you to get this every single game. Um, and, uh, 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 and then now we are in the mid game. This is the second thing I want you guys to do, Okay. And it's get to see us a minute again. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get every single wave possible before we go do shit. And then after we do the shit, we come back and get the wave. Okay, so you see the first thing I do is you guys do this very often. Um, you get the wave, you look at the map, and then you say, okay, let's you know what do, what do we do off this? And like, okay, well, maybe we shift shift top whatever. It doesn't really matter what you do here. Well, I mean, it kind of matters, right? You 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 should be proactive. Um, here we're making sure the Dino is trolling. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, Malkai is trolling too. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> uh, this is this is clearly go gameplay. Um, but after all that, go mid. Get the wave again, and rinse and repeat. And you just do this over and over and over and over and over and over again. There's like you just keep doing this, okay? And um, if you're first to push the wave, you guys are winning the game. Okay, you guys are having a good time. It's a big dub, okay? <clears throat> here, um, this is why it's a big dub, because you have first to move. So here, uh, I don't know why Javan didn't ulti, but that should be a um, that should be an ulti angle, no? And then uh, we are first to move, push their jungle out of the river, go back mid. Simple. And the same thing over and over again. And this is, this is the thing that gets you guys right here. This is the thing that catches you guys. You guys are like, oh, jungle started the Herald? I have to help. No, bro, you got to get mid. What are you talking about? You got to have to, you got you to gotta get mid, bro. Your job is to get mid. And he starts the Herald and you didn't get mid? I don't care. You go get mid, right? So yeah, you have to get mid here, okay? And the reason being is if you don't get mid, you're not making income. And if you're not making income, you're not carrying this game, okay? So we get mid here and then we can Herald. And you see what the problem is now? Because they're solo, they're, I mean, I don't even know why I feel this is not matching, but because Cassio is not picking up mid, I've not only has she lost the six minions, I'm also taking the tower while they're jerking off in the river, okay? And this is how, this is like the secret to like crush gold macro. You push mid, they have no idea what to do, and it's a free punish because you've already pushed. Like if I, if I go help this fight, we've already won. If I hit this tower, won even harder, right? Like, all, all roads lead to fixing mid first okay so you can see this they're like they feel like they have to do something because i'm just touching their tower and then just like they're running around like lost chickens look at this like like riven is here for some reason like it's crazy i pushed mid cassio lost six minions i hit the tower riven comes mid okay now olaf pushes top and then he hits the tower like they don't have no they have no idea what they're doing okay and uh, like the the way you just like get a free win in this rank is you get mid first Okay, and of course you guys are like, oh my god, like what if they like engage on me? Like I, I die to their jungle every time I get mid. It's literally the same thing in lane. Like you guys are dying to the jungle. Okay, you 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 say into in the lane. You're like, okay, you gotta remember. You look at jungle. You look at mid prowl. And the same same thing in the mid game. Okay, you ask yourself, what's their engage? What's their best engage when you touch these minions? Okay, I'm looking at I'm looking at Diana. He's gonna er. That's it. Okay, cool. So I just watch Diana. I prepare Gale Force, prepare Net, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then you touch mid once you prepared all that, right? Here, you can just like do whatever. I'm uh, just like hitting them, but it's honestly irrelevant, right? We've already went through the macro. You can shoot the Soraka. She has no sustain, right? Um, and they're still lost chickens. Look, they're losing top here. They're unironically just losing everything. And by the way, another wave is coming in. So what's your job here? You guessed it. We push mid, right? And now they're like, I, I don't know what they're going to do here. They're just, they're just, they're just trolling, right? They're just, they're just, <laughs> if a fight breaks out, I don't give a single fuck, bro. I'm pushing, I'm pushing this dog, right? I do not care what my gold teammates are doing. I'm getting the midway first. Now we can go help, okay? Now you're done with the wave. Now we go help, okay? And now uh, you can see what happens here. I missed the trap. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can, you can go for it. You can, do, you can do whatever you hear. Like, it's, it's GG, right? Like, it, it looks like I'm playing a different game from everyone else in the entire game. And that's what it should look like, okay? Like, look at look at my income here. I have one kill, singular kill. Um, trying to get a kill off here. I have a singular kill. Hundred seventy four CS at seventeen minutes. I have IE. I have Gale Force and IE at seventeen minutes, pretty much. Um, we don't sell the uh the Doran's Blade here. I think the Boots Two is relevant. Um, and Doran's Blade is relevant, but you can you can make an argument for IE Spike 
Um, but yeah, don't sell Dor don't sell Dorans. Okay, um, Dorans is valuable. It does scale, has life steal, and you see that Katarina is touching mid, so I go bot. Agreed. He got the mid. I go bot. Agreed. And this is how you keep up your 10 CS a minute. This is where you guys are like, oh my god. <coughs> My millionaire didn't go side, whatever, whatever. Who cares? Go, go side one wave. Go side one wave, and then go mid. Easy, okay? Very simple, very simple. The whole, the whole idea just it revolves around how do you get your wave every single thir every thirty seconds. That is the idea, <clears throat> okay? Very simple, very simple. So here we're just pushing bot. I mean, uh, get the wave and then go mid, right? A very simple idea. Fast forward. We got the wave. Let's go mid here. <clears throat> And we see they were all top. So how do you punish? It's the same thing. I, pro I promise. You just push mid. You threaten their tower. You beat their engage. GG. Okay. Oh, Aphelios decides to uh, commit Sudoku. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, you just kill it, guys. I mean, uh, you guys can do this. Okay. I have no doubt. Like, you're stronger than them. I'm, I'm sure I, you, have, you guys have no problems doing this. Okay. So, uh, yeah, he died. We get the mid tower. Um, and then we do the dragon. And then what are we going to do after that? Okay, guys, tell me. What, what am I going to do after I get the dragon? Any, any, anyone? Anyone? You guys have any guesses? Huh? Any guesses in the, in the YouTube comments? Yeah, we're going to go mid. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, you can watch me go mid. Let's not, let's not skip anything in case you guys get confused. I didn't look, look, the wave is coming in. Watch the wave is going to come in. The dragon's not even done. Ready? I'm like, oh, they've got it. Because no one's contesting. We go mid. And you want to get... You want to catch it as high as possible. Okay? A lot of you guys make a mistake of like... It's already like here and the minions are already killing each other. You want to get here before the minions touch each other. Okay? And the higher, the better. If you catch it... Like imagine if you catch it at their nexus. Sorry, at their inhib. Then you have infinite time. Let's say you catch it at your tower. You have a lot less time. Um, so yeah, you need to catch it as high as possible. Okay? That would generate the most pressure possible. <clears throat> I mean, and then here, I mean, if they want to engage on you, if River wants to, like, jerk off and, like, go for you, like, this this is totally fine. Like, I mean, okay, and then this, like, I, I don't know, I mean, I, I, what do I say about this? Okay, so you're getting mid here. This is, this is the part where, like, okay, you're getting mid here. You need to, you need to figure out enemy engage, right? So here, we're, we're like, thinking, okay, Diana, um, Diana's going to come for me. Riven's going to come for me. It's, like, a, Diana, a combination of, like, Diana, Flash, Riven, Flash, whatever. You have Flash, prepare Flash. And then here, I'm, like... This guy is so weak, I'm just not even going to flash, I'm just going to net, right? And um, depending on what champion you play, there are a lot of defaults, okay? So like, uh, a default to, to beat engage for Kaelin would be Kaelin net, Kaelin Gale Force. Default for Ezra would be Ezra E. Jin default would be like, trap yourself into W, right? There's, there's a lot of, depending on what champion you play, you just got to figure out a solution. Um, prepare your solution for um, their engage, okay? And you see that Olaf's going mid, fine, I go top, right? And you see that um, even though teammates are mid, it doesn't mean you just go mid. It means you fix the lane assignments after one wave. In this case, um, we can probably just take top all the way. You can see seeing the map here, right? We're just going to take top all the way. And you see how like this Riven is late to the wave? And therefore, she's getting run down because she realizes, oh, I am actually have no time here, right? <clears throat> and then um, I get top here, right? Uh, I guess uh, I get red because Olaf wants to wave. That's fine. I mean, I'm just like, whatever. Let's just get a tower. Now, this is the part where we share. We're sharing a wave. But we can we can apply pressure, okay? We can if we're sharing, we should be applying pressure because you know they're gonna be getting the bot wave. I guess they're not getting the bot wave, but yeah, here we're applying pressure. Riven decided I don't know what this guy's doing. He's just dead, okay? And I mean in gold, I think people tend to just kill themselves. Like I don't I don't know what they're doing, right? You just pick up the free kills, right? As long as you concern yourself with getting all the CS, you're gonna have a good time. I promise you. Um, <clears throat> And then, uh, I don't know what this is. This guy's dead. I don't know why Diana didn't, Diana didn't ulti. I don't know what's going on here. But, like, we're so strong at this point, they, like, can't do anything. Because, like, these guys don't... We're playing different games. Like, I'm the same level as their millionaire because their millionaire is not getting CS. I promise you, people in gold will not get 10 CS a minute. So you can really just do whatever you want. Like, I, here, I'm not even playing this well. Pretty sure this guy is going to die to headshot. Um, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, okay. So, this is the strat. Okay, and um, you guys say it only works in masters, doesn't work in gold. I, I'm telling you, it works 10 times better in gold because no one else knows how to play the game. Okay, so to summarize, <clears throat> in lane, okay, you want to uh, pretend to harass them when they want a minion. You don't actually commit, 
You only commit when it's giga free. Okay, you're just pretending. It's all acting, and you do this to bait their support into missing abilities and to uh, get their ADC to lose their mind and just miss random CS. Okay, and then you do this to the point where they're crying and they call for their jungle. You bait their jungle, gain jungle advantage, and then. You play the jungle situation correctly. Like if they engage on you, you have flash ready, right? You you prepare your um, defense for their best offense, their best uh, engage, and then uh, <clears throat> make sure you're you're when you're basing, you're not losing any CS. You know exactly what you're gonna do. You you know when the cannon wave is coming. That's your like easiest timer to base. And then once you have this lane advantage secured, or let's say you skip all that and you guys just are RNG fights and you have ten kills or something for whatever reason in the mid game, your job is ten CS a minute. Your job is ten CS a minute. Okay, um, and uh, you get the mid wave, you uh, you can do whatever you want after that, and then before the wave touches in the middle, get the wave again. Your jungle starts to herald, don't care, right? Um, your jungle is like, I, I, you don't, I really don't care what my team is doing, I'm gonna get the mid wave, okay? And then you can go do stuff, as you can see, the clear example being that Rift Herald play where um, team wanted to do Rift Herald or something, and I'm like, uh, yeah, go for it, bro, I'm just getting mid, okay. Your job is to get mid first every time for your team. And that is that is basically it. Like we got strong to the point where their mid laner was the same level as me. Okay. And I mean I'm sure you guys can fight correctly, hopefully, right? Um, there wasn't even any team fighting. We just won through massive advantage. But yeah, I want you guys to practice this macro strategy. Okay. And by using this, you should see immediate results. Okay. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you want me to make um, more videos in this rank. Uh, I do know that uh, apparently the majority of my viewers are silver and gold. And usually I cater my uh, educational content to like, uh, like hard stuck D1 basically. So this, uh, this is probably boring for the higher ELO people. But um, hopefully the silver gold platinum range will understand just how easy it is to break enemy team macro just by pushing mid first okay so yeah let me know what you guys think if you have any questions hit me up on the uh comment section and uh yeah i will see you guys next time